Dave and Abby's innuendo. <sighs> Bingo. Yeah. Get into this. We should point out that it is completely innocent. Everything you're about to hear, completely PG. Nothing inappropriate about In it. In fact, all of this is your dirty minds mm. making it dirty. So <laughs> take a long, hard look at yourselves, Brisbane sure. and uh, Abby, and of course, celebrity player of Innuendo Bingo today, Libby Trickett. Ladies, yes, you know how this works. You're yes. going to take a big mouthful of water. We're going to play these completely innocent clips, and you've got to hold in the giggles. So right, I would ask you to take your first. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Don't okay. skull, Abby. I know that goes against you. <laughs> goes against your training. Okay. Thank but, uh, you. Okay. Thank you. First grab we've got mm. comes from the BBC. They always sound so important and serious, the BBC. Uh, mm-hmm. And he's reporting about a huge storm that has ripped through uh, the Lower Midlands and specifically about what it could do because it is so powerful. Have a listen. In South Wales, the heavy rain fell on already soaking ground this mini landslip heavy enough to smash through a back door. Nothing! Pass! Did we pass? Pass! We passed! We got a pass! We passed! <laughs> oh. okay. I think I'm threatening Libby so in the eye! <laughs> <laughs> she dribbled on herself, God bless her. Okay, these are all grabs we can use for the next innuendo bingo. Um, okay, all right, all right, Coleman. All right, Trickett, you may have passed that one. I guarantee you this one will get you. Now, there's many ways that uh, couples can show affection to each other. This lady may have not thought through exactly what she meant when she was talking about Barack and Michelle Obama. We also need to be affectionate, and you can see that with Barack and Michelle as mm-hmm. well. They do a lot of touching, kissing, even fisting. With one <laughs> <another>. <laughs> She's talking about the fist bump. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, boom, they explode. Uh, yeah, it's very affectionate. It's yeah. like a high five. High five, boom, they explode. Oh, they're we... just gonna fist each other now. Yeah, yeah. boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> this one's just, just an unfortunate one. It's about uh, a book club reporting about. Uh, well, it's a discussion about the book and uh, what might happen to one of the main characters. Have a listen. You can live a comfortable life when you've got a job, but yeah. to be made redundant, uh, you can be out of a job, and then what happens? You go back to Canada. You eat beaver. <laughs> I'm sorry, she just in the squirted life. me in the crop. <laughs> it's a labor of lap. Beaver, of course, a uh, traditional meat of yeah, the, of Inuit, the Inuit, Inuit, Inuit people. Inuit people. Yeah. 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 Damn. Beaver meat, quite the tr- uh, quite the delicacy in Canada. Beaver meat. I never... did not know that. Yeah. I did yeah. not know that. Never hey, I think we did a great job. Libby, unbelievable. Well done, hun. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think? Hit 105.